Oh wait, we're on. Hello, welcome back. Now, if you're like many of the people we work with, you know the power music can play in helping you to unleash learning for your students. But if you ever struggle with knowing when to use it or how to use it, this is for you. Now music, when it's used well, can help you unleash learning for all your students in really powerful ways. It can help prime your classroom for positive emotions. It can help you lower the filter for your students. Now, if you've ever taken our online program or read my book, Unleash Learning, you know the filter is the guard that most learners have that we need to bring down. Now, music can also help support effective rituals and procedures in your class, which can save you energy and maximize student success. So here are three times when you wanna think about using music in your classroom. Okay, now time number one is at the opening or closing, or I should say, end closing of your class. Now playing music as your students walk into your class helps create positive emotions. Now if you haven't seen our interview with Dr. Susie Green about the power of positive emotions when it comes to learning, please be sure to check that out. Now simply have great upbeat music playing as your students walk into your classroom. You know, I've seen many students get into a great mood by simply playing upbeat music as those students walked into the classroom. And when your students are positive, upbeat, and in a good mood, they are primed for learning. Plus, if you play music at the end of your class, you're setting your students up for wanting to come back to your class the next day or later in the day. The second time is for transitions. Now, music is a great way to support transitioning students from one activity to the next. So for example, you can play a song when you want people to stand up or move to another seat or finish up their work or pack up for the rest of the day. You know, when you play a certain song, students will know immediately that it's time to pack up or finish an activity or take their quick seat quickly. And the best part is you don't need to say a word. Now the last time is for learning. You know, I've seen some really innovative teachers create playlists that connect music to the theme or topic or subject they are teaching. Now they use this music for transitions or entering the class or closing the class, but really they're using the music to surround their students with the subject matter that they're trying to get to stick. Now, if you've read my book, Unleash Learning, check out page 26, the chapter about surrounding it with them, and they'll give you tons of ideas of how to do just that. Okay. So as always, we wanna hear from you. Do you use music in your classroom? And if so, how do you use it? And what are the outcomes you experience? Now, while you're there answering that, make sure to get our ebook, The Ultimate Classroom Setup Guide. Now, there is a chapter in there about how to use music in your classroom, and the book's gonna show you exactly how. Now, L, as always, the entire team, we are saying thank you for the work you do for this planet. We are cheering you on and I'll see you next time.